Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Chris Herman, here coming to you from the the on deck desk right here at the Herman Agency in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, no, this is not an episode of On Deck. This is just an opportunity for me to communicate about something that I think is important moving forward. Um, And that is marketing and advertising and creative content thoughts and trends moving forward into next year, particularly as it pertains to the retail automotive business. Uh, We've all, you know, those of you that know me and have watched the podcast and clients and friends, obviously, you know, been in retail automotive and working in and around this business for a long time. And uh, truly, the last two years uh, were some of the most challenging and unique that I can say I've ever experienced. Um, You know, COVID, the chip shortage, um, you know, inventory shortages, and the resulting dialing back of most necessary marketing and or advertising for dealerships, which made a whole heck of a lot of sense in many cases, um, you know, certainly made the last couple of years uh, you know, a challenge uh, for my business and quite frankly, for a lot of businesses on this side. Um, I have a lot of good friends and we have a lot of great clients in the retail automotive space who have had tremendous success and growth over the last couple of years. And, and I welcome that, celebrate it uh, and congratulate everybody on it. It's been a truly remarkable time on the retail automotive side. Um, Uh, On the vendor side, I think there's a lot of companies that have had a little bit of a different experience because naturally, uh, when dealers have no inventory and don't need to market as much, that certainly affects many of the companies on the, let's call it the vendor side of the space. Um, And so many of our experiences has been a little bit different, but that's not really what I'm here to talk about today. What I'm talking about is looking forward as we move into 2023. You know, um, the tide has shifted the wind has shifted, the tide is going in, coming out, however you want to say it, but it's it's different and you can feel it. Every one of our clients that I talk to um, expresses the same thing, which is they definitely feeling that the market has shifted. Um, any of you following our social media presence has seen us, you know, starting to put this messaging out there, but I think it's important that, you know, we recognize the trends in the business and what is happening and what we can anticipate and expect moving into and through 2023 and quite frankly 2024 because I think that we're entering into a two another two year window here where things are going to start shifting back and ramping up in a different direction and what does that mean it means you know not that dealerships are going to be flooded with new car inventory, but new car inventory is definitely coming back. Our stores are all seeing a nice steady flow of cars coming into the dealership. So the days of having three, four, five cars on the lot, you know, uh, those are gone. Now you might have 30, 40, 50 cars on the lot and you used to have 250, so you're not where you used to be, but that new car inventory is definitely moving in a different direction, meaning that dealerships are starting to see cars. Um, used vehicle inventory. The values of used vehicles, as we all know, are dropping um, steadily. Some say plummeting. I'm not. I'm not an expert on the used car value market, but what I can say is that I know that we've seen a significant drop in used car values over the last two to three months. We're also seeing an increase in interest rates. Right? You know, the Fed keeps hiking the rates to try and slow the inflation, and that is affecting. Uh, the retail automotive market from the perspective of uh, you know interest rates on the purchase of new and used vehicles. So you've got new car inventory rising, you've got used vehicle inventory values dropping, you have in in excuse me interest rates rising, and at the same time you have consumer demand starting to wane. Um, all of these things in combination are, are clearly showing us that the business has changed again and it's moving back uh, in the direction of the way that it used to be. Now, I, how far it moves back in that direction remains to be seen, but without a doubt, we're moving back in that direction. And what does that mean for dealers and what does that mean for marketers? Um, you know, It's my opinion that dealerships are going to have to start getting more aggressive with their marketing. They're going to have to be more thoughtful about their messaging. You know, simply saying, hey, we've got inventory, uh, that's probably not going to cut it anymore because people are going to be looking for value right now, especially. 
You know, uh, you know, most people are telling your average citizen, your average consumer, don't buy anything right now. Don't spend money. Don't spend any unnecessary money because we could be going into a period of a year or two of continued inflation and continued recession. And it could put a hurt on a lot of people. It really could. I mean, if you look at the technology sector, almost every major technology company is cutting staff massively. It's not just Elon at Twitter. Facebook is doing it and across the board. The crypto market is getting killed right now, right? The financial markets are tight and uncertain. Nobody knows where to put their money. And anybody smart is going, hey, listen, if I don't need to spend money over the next year or two, I probably shouldn't. And so that means... Mr. or Mrs. Car Dealer or Mr. or Mrs. You know, marketing department person at a dealership, you're going to have to start giving some people some reason on why they need to come in and buy a car. Because common sense is going to tell them that they don't need to or shouldn't. Now, there's a lot of pent up demand and that's going to help, right? But at the end of the day, dealerships are going to have to start getting very thoughtful and very dialed in and engaged with their marketing. Um, most of you know us to be a shop that came up through the traditional realm, um, and that's true. Uh, we are definitely a shop that is focused on brand identity, branded content, branded marketing, and then distributing that creative content, whether it's through digital or traditional, it doesn't matter. We're still big believers, and I am, that you maximize the digital footprint first. And being smart about your marketing means looking at the digital areas that you can really get a bang for your buck. Google VLAs, Google Performance Max, OTT, streaming. These are areas where dealers can really get a good grip um, on their future marketing communications. But you're going to have to start thinking about the message, right? Just, hey, come in and pre-order your car. You know, I, I don't think that's going to cut it anymore. And so I want to encourage everybody now that today is November 11th, give some thought to your marketing strategy for 2023 and 2024. And I think that you need to strongly consider getting back to meaningful branded messaging, meaningful retail messaging above and beyond, hey, we've got cars are coming pre-order right? You're going to have to start creating some must shop scenarios for your customers and it's going to get competitive. So I suggest you jump out there early. Obviously, this message is self-serving. Yes, I own an agency that has worked in this space for 16 years. We have helped hundreds, if not thousands of dealers put together their entire marketing strategy from digital to traditional. And we're one of the few shops that still actually focuses on great creative content for dealers. I believe that we offer a tremendous value for dealers right now. And I would like anybody out there thinking about their marketing moving into 2023 to reach out to me directly. You can call me on my mobile, 305-607-5544. You can hit me up via email. I uh, will put it on the screen. See Herman at thehermanagency.com. You know where to find me on, on social media, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm out there. We're out there. And we are ready to help dealers as they move into 2023 because it's a completely different ball game moving into the next two years. And dealers need not only strong digital marketing strategy, which we can provide because we have meaningful partnerships in all of those areas, but you also need somebody that's been through this stuff before that understands the messaging you're going to need to put together. Think about this. You've got customers out there that are going to be very nervous about buying a car. They're going to be very wary of the high prices or the reducing prices, but the higher interest rates. They're also, many of them, significantly upside down in regards to the vehicles that they've purchased over the last few years. There's a lot of things that are going to start coming together that are going to result in dealers having to take their marketing strategy very seriously and their messaging very seriously. So I'm just putting that out there because I believe in it. Yes, it's self-serving. Yes, I'm selling my business. Yes, I'm offering our services. But I believe what I'm saying, that the next two years are going to present some real challenges and real opportunities for dealers, and we're here to help. So without further ado, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you very much. It's Chris Herman here at the Herman Agency. Hope you're all doing well. Have a great day. Have a great weekend and have a great close to the rest of your year.